Russian President Vladimir Putin says he expected fighting to continue in parts of eastern Ukraine despite the signing of a ceasefire deal. But Mr. Putin said there had been a significant reduction in the intensity of combat since the truce came into effect over the weekend. Fierce fighting raged throughout Tuesday in key town Dvaltsev, with rebels saying they control most areas. International observers monitoring the truce have been unable to enter. Dvaltsev has become a key prize for rebels and Ukrainian forces, as it sits on a strategic railway line linking rebel-held Donetsk and Luhansk. Ukrainian President Petro Poroshenko described rebel attempts to take the town as a cynical attack on the ceasefire. Today the world must stop the aggressor, Mr. Poroshenko said in a statement posted on his website following a phone conversation with German Chancellor Angela Merkel. I call on the permanent members of the UN Security Council to prevent further violation of fundamental principles and rules of the UN and the unleashing of a full-scale war in the very center of Europe, he said. Understandable fighting. Speaking on a visit to Hungary, President Putin said he hoped the ceasefire agreements would be observed by both sides. He said the conflict could not be solved by military means, but added that what was happening in Dvaltsev was understandable and predictable. I hope that the Ukrainian authorities are not going to prevent the Ukrainian soldiers from laying down their weapons, he said, adding that they should be allowed to return to their families if they gave themselves up. Meanwhile, sources in the self-proclaimed Donetsk People's Republic, DPR, said Dvaltsev police station and railway station had been taken, and at least 80% of the city was under rebel control. According to later reports, the city's military HQ, where many government troops are based, has also been surrounded. The rebels said that up to 300 Ukrainian troops in Dvaltsev had surrendered, and Russian TV showed footage of what it said were 72 captured soldiers. The government in Kiev said a group had been taken prisoner after an ambush but denied large-scale surrenders. The Ukrainian military said there was intense fighting in the streets and confirmed that the rebels were in control of parts of the city. Although Dvaltsev has suffered weeks of artillery exchanges, correspondents say this is the first fierce fighting inside the town. Most of its 25,000 population have been evacuated but about 7,000 civilians are still believed trapped by the fighting, according to Amnesty International. The ceasefire, which came into effect on Sunday, has been broadly observed but separatists insist the agreement does not apply in Dvaltsev because they have the town almost surrounded. Both sides have also failed to pull back heavy weapons from the front line. The withdrawal was due to start no later than the second day after the truce came into effect and be completed within two weeks, creating buffer zones 50 to 140 kilometers, 30 to 85 miles, wide. Officials say more than 5,400 people have been killed since the conflict erupted in eastern Ukraine in April, but the UN believes the actual death toll to be much higher. Ukraine's pro-Western government says Russia is supporting the separatists with troops and weapons, but the Kremlin has consistently denied this.